if you don't know how to create a new project, when I go to welcome, then new project, put your title in there, find out where you want to save it. And then you're good to go. Then once you go to your actual project, you'll see it right here. You can notice right now that I'm getting a signal. And if I want to make sure that that's set correctly, you want to right click on it and you want to set it to whatever input you want it to be on. In this case, I have my microphone plugged into channel one. So I'm going to put it on input one. Yeah. And I think I'm just going to record some like, um, some harmony stuff, basically. Uh, good thing about it. W is still a shortcut. If you're familiar with cakewalk, this one works the same way. So W will rewind it back to the very beginning. You have your metronome, which is right down here at the bottom. Your metronome will allow you to have metronome markings on while it is playing. There's a shortcut for it, it says C. So if you press C, you can turn it on and off. That's good to know. You can do a count in, you can do one bar count in. One bar just means four beats. All right. I like it. Like, say that. And actually, that's probably better. I don't mind if it's like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Control S that, bring it back in. All right, and we just wanna go ahead and add some effects on it. So the good thing about this is that most of the effects that I have that I use in Cakewalk and I'll be using here, it seems like anyway. Um, so let's see, but then what does Waveform have? Let's see, effects. Let's add a, oh, let's see if I can send these to something I haven't done before, you all. Let's see if I can send these to a bus. See, right click. Okay. Add track. Add submix track. Oh, maybe. S uh, submix track. Pack selected tracks to a folder track. Pack selected tracks to a submix track. Let's call that. Let's see. Let's see what that is. And then maybe we can just add the compression to here directly, maybe. Let's see what kind of, we got a side chain here. Let's just hear what that sounds like. Definitely controls it. <clears throat> I can definitely tell that it's compressed, that's for sure. Uh, let's adjust this a little bit. Threshold, bring threshold. Okay. Just to release a little bit. Do it again. Okay. Plate reverb. See what that sounds like. And let's add it after compression. Let's add a eight band EQ. Let's add it. Uh, let's add it before compression. Oh, nice. So you can click on each band. Does this drag out? Okay. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. This drags out. Ah, oh, that's dope. Love it. So let's click here. Band one, this is band one, right? Okay, enable, low shelf, let's change it to high pass. And you can adjust the frequency, you can trust, oh, the Q, that's nice. That's nice. Bring it in till we don't hear it anymore. Or until we hear it, oh, go back. Okay, probably right here. Let's see, do it again. kind of like that all right we got um got a low end we need to do it's just a cue on this okay that's 
probably good. 